Dubat Battery Recycling is the first fully integrated battery recycling factory in UAE. With the capacity to recycle up to 50,000 metric tons of batteries and produce 28,000 tons of lead metal and 3,500 tons of plastic chips per year, we're one of the largest facilities in the Middle East region. Lead acid batteries are the most widely used batteries for automobiles, power storage, generators and heavy equipment. At the end of its life, it becomes a hazardous waste as they contain lead, sulfuric acid, plastics and other contaminants. Lead metal constitutes around 70% weight of a typical lead acid battery. As such, lead is a toxic metal and carcinogenic. If not handled properly, lead contamination can create adverse effects on health and the environment. The sulfuric acid and the plastic casings of the batteries too require to be recycled in an organized, scientifically approved, eco-friendly manner. We collect the battery scraps from multiple sources and transport them to our factory and approved vehicles in line with Dubai municipality guidelines. At Dubat, we've invested in the best of Italian technology for our recycling process. All the equipments are designed and manufactured by Seri FIB Italy to ensure compliance to the latest and best available technology in sustainable recycling. The battery recycling involves a complex four-stage process, starting with the battery breaking and separation. The scrap batteries are fed through conveyor to an enclosed battery crusher with rotating hammers where they're broken apart through an automated process. The broken bits of lead and plastics tumble into a separation tank filled with water where the heavy lead components sink and the lighter plastic pieces float to the surface. The plastic chips move through multiple screw conveyors to three different washing lines and then to a grinding line to make small plastic chips ready for sale to plastic recycling companies that manufacture new battery cases. The heavy lead paste and grids sink to the bottom of the separation tank from where the metallic solid grids are separated via a process called elutration and the lead paste moves via bucket conveyors to a paste settling tank. Certain chemicals known as flocculants are added to this tank to thicken the paste. The paste is then pumped to a filter press where the moisture is removed and we get lead paste with a moisture less than 8% as a separated component. The acid in the batteries gets diluted with the processed water in a separation tank. This acidic water undergoes a series of chemical reactions in an automated acid neutralization system to produce gypsum as a byproduct. This is then sold to cement and gypsum manufacturers. The battery braking section is fully automated and run via SCADA systems and requires minimum human intervention. Only one technician and an engineer is required to process up to 120 tonnes of scrap battery per shift. The separated metallic lead grids, paste and fines go to the next stage. Smelting. The lead paste and metallic lead are mixed with certain chemical reagents. This mixture is then charged to the rotary furnace via vibratory spoons. The furnace heats this charge to around 1000 degrees Celsius and the chemicals undergo pyrometallurgical reactions to recover elementary lead metal, which is tapped in its liquid form in moulds known as crucibles. The molten lead solidifies to make solid bullions, weighing around 2 tonnes. The chemical composition of these bullions is typically 98 to 99% pure lead. The bullions are transferred to the next stage of refining. The lead bullions are melted again in the refinery kettles. Each batch contains 50 tonne of metal and once the temperature reaches 650 degrees, the molten metal is churned using an equipment called an agitator. In the refining process, many chemicals are used to remove the impurities and at each interval, the metal is tested in our in-house laboratory using the most advanced spectrometer to ensure the metal reaches its intended purity and chemical composition. We refine lead to the highest grade of up to 99.99% grade and also manufacture several lead alloys as per our customer specifications. 
Once the batch is certified from the in-house laboratory, the refined lead goes to the next stage of casting, where the molten metal is poured into bar-shaped moulds on a water-cooled casting line to make lead bars called ingots. These lead ingots are then mechanically stacked and strapped to make bundles of ingots weighing around one tonne each. They're then moved to our finished goods storage area. These bundles are then sold off to new battery manufacturers around the globe. 90% of the global demand for lead metal is for new battery manufacturing, and the remaining quantity is used in medical, military, and other industrial applications of lead metal. We have supply contracts with leading battery manufacturers in the UAE, GCC, Europe, Asia, and North America. As our smelter and refinery handles several complex chemical reactions, it's critical that we have an advanced environmental pollution control mechanism. All emissions generated in our process are treated in our state-of-the-art pollution control systems, and the complete process is automated and eco-friendly. The charging and smelter areas are fitted with exhaust systems and suction hoods. All gaseous and dust emissions are controlled with multiple effluent bag houses, dust pelletizers and scrubbing systems where the pollutants are arrested. And finally the stack emissions are below the allowed limits and in line with the environmental norms. Even the process water at our plant is recirculated within the system and any excess water is treated in the neutralization system to get clean water which is safe to be used for landscaping in our premises. Dubat is certified with ISO 9001 for quality management systems, ISO 14001 for environment management systems, and ISO 45001 for health and safety management. As a responsible recycler, Dubat saves resources, prevents pollution, supports public health, creates jobs, and promotes a circular economy for a safe, sustainable future.